Hello friends, this video on combustion and flame part 9 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now that we have understood the concept of combustion, let us talk about the different types of combustion. So here we are going to discuss about three types of combustion. That is rapid combustion, spontaneous combustion and explosion. So these are the three combustion which we are going to discuss. Now let's start with rapid combustion. Rapid means something which happens very fast. Rapid is fast. So in this type of combustion, a substance gets burned very fast and during the process large amount of heat and light are produced. So heat and light both will be produced. So the best example to understand rapid combustion is the gas stove. Now when you switch on the knob of your gas oven and you bring the matchstick near it, what do you see? Even you do not need to touch the matchstick with your oven. You just bring it near it and it catches fire. So the gas stove lit immediately. So why it catches fire? So it, I mean this type of combustion where it happens very fast. So the process of combustion got initiated very fast. It did not take a lot of time. And as a result of combustion, heat is being produced. Of course, the heat produced is enough to prepare your food, to boil your food. And also light is produced. So you can see the presence of light here. Yes, so this is one example of rapid combustion. Again, in this case, you see that an external ignition source is needed. So when you took this example of the gas stove, what was the external source? The external source was the match stick because you need a burning match stick or a gas lighter to ignite it. So for rapid combustion, you will always need an external source to ignite that particular substance. You take example of combustion of petrol. So in petrol or diesel, there also you need some external source. Maybe again you think of a burning matchstick. As soon as you bring it near in the vicinity of petrol, it immediately catches fire. So that is rapid combustion. Heat is produced, light is produced and the combustion process happens very, very fast. Now, explosion is very closely associated with rapid combustion. So it is basically like rapid combustion, but here other than heat and light, sound is also produced. So this combustion is accompanied by heat, light as well as sound. So the best example of explosion would be the firecrackers. So during Diwali or any other festival, you often uh, fire the crackers. So you see, they produce light, they also produce a lot of heat. So when you stand near them, you actually can feel the heat. And at the same time, they also produce a lot of sound. Even the bombs, they are also examples of explosion because there also combustion happens and heat is produced, light is produced and sound is also produced. So that is explosion. And the third type is spontaneous combustion. So here there is sudden ignition of a substance on its own. So here no external source is needed. So the substance will ignite on its own. So that is why it is called spontaneous. Spontaneous means sudden, anything that happens suddenly. So here you do not have any matchstick, nothing is required. The substance will catch fire on its own. So the one example is phosphorus. So we know that phosphorus is highly reactive in presence of oxygen and that is why it is not even safe to store it just like that. It cannot be kept exposed to air, then it will catch fire. So how do we store it? We store it inside water because phosphorus does not react with water. So phosphorus is one example of spontaneous combustion. Here there is no external ignition source needed. So for phosphorus to catch fire, you do not need to do anything. It will on its own catch fire. The other example is the coal fires. Now I was talking about the coal fires some time back also. Now coal is formed by from uh, the dead plants deep down the earth. So in fact the formation of coal happens under the influence of high temperature and high pressure. Now there are thousands of coal fires which are burning around the world. Some of them are even difficult to locate because they are deep down underground. Some of them can never be extinguished because the coal fires have, I mean, it has spread so much. 
So under the effect of high temperature, as I told you that coal has an auto ignition temperature of around 500 degrees Celsius. So if you talk about coal, they have auto ignition temperature of 500. That means if you heat coal to a temperature of 500 degrees Celsius, they will get ignited on their own. So that is what that exactly happens in, in the coal mines due to which these coal fires take place. Now when the temperature increases too much, there, so the, they, the coal catch fire and that is an example of spontaneous combustion. So the most important difference between rapid and spontaneous combustion is that in rapid combustion external source is needed. In spontaneous combustion uh, the substance undergo combustion on its own, no external source is needed. Other example is the forest fires. You would have seen that in dense forests they often catch fires on their own when the temperature becomes very high. So they are also the same thing when the temperature increases too much what happens is the they, they tend to plants tend to catch fire. In fact if you compare it in this way if you have a green leaf and if you have a dry leaf it is easier to burn the dry leaf. I mean the dry leaf catches fire easily because the green leaf has lot of water. So as long as you have water, water will try to keep the substance cool. Therefore, the leaf will not be able to reach its ignition temperature. But in case of a dry leaf, water is not there. So it will reach its ignition temperature quickly and it will catch fire easily. So in case of forests also, normally forests consist of trees and trees have moisture in them. But when the weather becomes very very hot, then what happens? All the moisture gets evaporated. So there is not much water left in the trees. So they become very dry and in such situation, they, it, it becomes easier for them to reach their ignition temperature when the temperature in the surroundings is very high and once they reach their ignition temperature, they can catch fire. So forest fires which happen in this way is also an example of spontaneous combustion because it happens suddenly on its own without any external ignition source. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.